Welcome to Kennesaw, Georgia, in the greater Atlanta area and home to the Owls of Kennesaw State, where these fans have been eagerly anticipating this one all week. We've got a terrific matchup for you today, rich in pageantry and tradition, and it ought to be a fantastic clash. As we'll see a squad from the AAC, the South Florida Bulls, taking on a team from Conference USA, the Kennesaw State Owl. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Kennesaw State ready to kick it off and get this game going. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room and not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Bulls offense will take the first swing of the game. And here's the man they rally around and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right, you earn it by doing it and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man and Paul, there's a reason why. You're right, David, he's been in the big moments and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. That's the way to give yourself some breathing room. Now the second play of the drive from the 36. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. At the 45 on his way. He'll be down at the four-yard line after that terrific run. You want to know why this offense runs the football a lot? Because you got a guy that's top five in college football rushing. You give him the football, and he'll continue to make plays. I imagine they're going to keep feeding him because he keeps putting up productive numbers. Now rolling to the left. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. Into the hallelujah land. Touchdown, South Florida. Did not take long to get into the end zone. Now let's see if this gets this offense to hit overdrive. And we may have a situation here. We might have points, more points, and more points. You keep putting drives together like that, that quickly, chewing up that much yardage, defenses are going to have to get something figured out. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cap the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. So the Kennesaw State Owls offense will try to get something started with their first possession. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Quick strike complete. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Balls at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. Looking downfield, it's Bryson. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. No fair catches here, looking for room. He did a great job finding some running room on that return and was able to set up the offense with good field position. Good field position to start this drive at their own 47. They'll give it to the back. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. Listen, defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy in the ground. You get the guy's great tackles, which could have been set up in a long yard of situation. Now it becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. He'll try to do it himself. They bring him down, but not before he gets just enough to move the chains. Second and short is a great situation to be in. 
And look at him. He drops back to pass the football. He doesn't have to throw the football. He wants to be aggressive, but he can just take off and scramble. Doesn't have to take a chance. Great being ahead of the sticks. Powers through the defender. When running backs square their shoulders up, it's when they have the most power. You see him square his shoulders up, great tackles, be strong, continue to plow his way forward, just making it really easy on everybody in this offense by breaking tackles. Quarterback floating away from pressure. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. And the QB leaves the pocket and he scrambles out and he goes to his right. And it, I love how he keeps his eyes down the field, trying to make a play, trying to throw the football with a relentless chase. I love it. Get to the quarterback. He throws an inaccurate pass because he gets whacked as he throws the football. Nice job chasing by the defense. Really nice job by this sophomore quarterback to pick up the first down with the run. The Bulls have this offense rolling. Going to run it. It's key. Wrestled down at the 26. It's a gain of four. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. Fires toward the end zone. Snags it. Goes out of bounds just short of the goal line, and they'll be set up and in a great position here. Exceptional footwork to stay in bounds and just a little bit better than he could have scored. Yeah, if he keeps his balance or, or gets the speed going upfield a little bit more, he might get into the end zone, but just kind of ran out of space over there on that side. They'll run the option. The pitch. And he is going to lose yard. He's nowhere to run as he is forced out of bounds. There is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide on these situations. You know the physical ground game comes into play inside the five-yard line, and they match the intensity. Nice job. Everybody flying around to the football, making the tackle for a loss. Nice job by this defense. And a flag flies as the pass is incomplete. Let's see who it's on. You can't do that. An illegal forward pass will cost the offense five yards. About to have the ninth snap on this drive. You don't want to settle for a field goal. Let's go! Wants to fire it in the end zone on third and goal. Fires into the end zone! Right through his hands. He had a touchdown and just didn't look the ball in. It'll be fourth down. They'll try to cap off this drive with a field goal. Oh, he missed it. No good. And the margin is still seven after the miss, guys. And that's just a chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. Offense set on first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. He's finally stopped, but a big play there with his speed as he moves those sticks. You open a drive like that, and the entire playbook opens up on first down from the 44. They'll leave it with him. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. We've come to the end of the quarter, and USF is on top. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. They've swapped ends of the field, and we're ready to go in the second. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. 42, Spider. Back to throw, it's Bryson. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And that's going to be incomplete, going for broke on second down, but third down's coming up. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he drops to throw. Buying some time. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. On third and long, you know what's coming. That's exactly where you want to get an offense. The passing game has to come out. You go nickel, bring some more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack to force the fourth down. 
Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. South Florida has it back, and the Bulls' offense will return to the field. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say, maybe I go for it more. But Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish strong. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. On second down, he's looking downfield. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Man, I don't know if you want that guy outside the pocket very often because he's so fast and he could do some damage, but they did a nice job containing him. Once he left the pocket, they were ready for it, came to him, he tried to throw the football. Nice hit on the quarterback as he's throwing to force a bad pass. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. And the Bulls will bring the punt team onto the field. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. Looking for a productive play on first down. The give to the single back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job on the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. They'll go right back to it. He locked up and held on to bring him down. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys and staying in their gaps, everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. Unloads it left. That is just a sideline credit. Roll, catch, toe drag, everything you want. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. The give to the left side. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Hand off from the shotgun. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. you got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw which can help them get that going. Or did he find a hole in that secondary? And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. You don't give a hoop. Kennesaw State does. Touchdown. And the offense punches it in again, and we call his name again. That's two touchdowns now in two games, but still more to be played. I tell you what, I think this guy's name will be called a lot more throughout the season. He's that kind of good. And the extra point was good to finish things off. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Hey, fellas, here's a quick update on a top 15 clash today. Michigan is currently ahead in this one in a jam-packed big house, but it's been close so far. They're up by seven over Texas. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business. Gentlemen? And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Leaves it with the back. On the move at the 30. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. So much for the tough field position. One play, and you're already to the 35. Might as well give it to him again. Still on his feet at the 45. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. Nice job getting outside, right? Those running backs, they get on those tracks. They run outside. Now they're in the open field. It's so tough. Those safeties are flying down. Try to get an angle, but you could tell the speed sets him up, makes the big play out to the left. It's a first and 10 from the 42-yard line. 
He wants to throw. Quarterback on the move, still looking. It's incomplete. Good job by the defense sticking with its coverage. After they couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Brown wants to pass. He's going to let it go. Pulls it in inside the 10. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the 8. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play. And I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating. And the heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14-yard line. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Off the play fake. Quarterback now breaking the field. Blasted as he lets it go. And the laundry drops as the pass falls incomplete. Let's see who the penalty's on. So he just lost track of where the line of scrimmage was. The illegal forward pass will wave off the play. Penalty will be accepted. Huge play in the red zone. Third and goal coming up. The give to the running back from the shotgun. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. Fourth down here. It's still early in the game. I'm not chasing points. Take the field goal, pay this drive off. And they have analytical cards nowadays that says the exact situation, what the score is, do you go for it or not? Look at the card, make the decision. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. He'll take the return, try to get better field position. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and getting out. To the air, it's Bryson. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. And it looks as if they buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double-checking to make sure. And now on second down for this offense. Lasso! Lasso! He's looking to throw. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Pressure coming. And this defense is bringing the heat. Another sack. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. On the move, looking for a little sliver of hope. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shot. All right, guys, so here's the offense back on the field again. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Takes a hit as he fires. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Nice job by the quarterback trying to buy time and scrambling to the right, but it was the hit that forced that incompletion. Ball still spotted at the 34. It's second and 10. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. This pass rush is real, man. They force the quarterback, they flush him out to the left, and he's trying to scramble around and find an open guy. They still are able to get a hit on him, and that forces the incompletion. Brown will throw it. They're bringing heat. Wide open downfield. He's loose. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Bulls! 
He broke away from the defense and they couldn't catch him. And unbelievable timing with the quarterback and wide receiver. Get it to him in his hands, right on his frame where he can run after the catch and do some serious damage. And that's why he's so dangerous, because of that ability after the catch. For these DBs in this game, you've got to tackle the reception because if you don't get him down, he's taking it to the house. They'll try to tack one more on their score. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish with a huge play in the passing game, covering 66 yards to the end zone. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. Now you find out just how much of a gunslinger you are. Will you roll the dice here late in the half, David? And you know the defense is going to be really, really conservative, so I think it's an opportunity to be able to take a shot, see how much of a chunk you can get before then you decide really, Jesse, how you want to finish the half. You just can't turn it over and throw a pick if you're the quarterback here. You have got to be so smart. You're going to be aggressive with your decision. -making. Now on third and ten, if they can move the chains here, maybe they can get this drive started. They'll go to the ground. Bulls his way forward. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He'll field the punt and see what he can get. They'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. One more snap coming before halftime. The give to the tailback. He'll be brought down, and that's the final play of the half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, fellas. The end of a very entertaining first two quarters of football in Kennesaw. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the default. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Fifth Third Bank Stadium. Deep, he'll bring it out. Not nearly as much as he had hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. Down two possessions to start this third quarter. They'd love to build some early momentum. You ain't lying, because you only got so many possessions here in the second half, so now you're down. I gotta maximize every single one. Put your best plays together and start this drive off on a good one. Yeah, it starts right here. Obviously, you can't get it all back on this drive, but you can create that momentum. You can create something special and some energy, but it's gonna start with this offense here executing at a high level. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. They'll line up for a second down play. Looking to throw, it's Brysa. It's complete on the right side. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. And listen, I know that wasn't a huge gain. It was positive, but I like doing more of that in today's college football. I'm just going to try to give my playmakers a chance to do damage in space away from all the big boys inside. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing cabinet. This Kennesaw State offense is on the move. Blue. Blue. 
They're going back to the ground. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. And you couldn't ask for much more than that. A perfectly placed punt pins them inside the five. South Florida ready to send the offense back onto the field. They're backed up, first and 10 from inside their own five, and they'll try to get this drive started. They're not afraid to let one fly from back here. He's got it. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. A new set of downs after the completion. Running to the left. At the 35, he's got room. Ripping off a pretty good chunk of yardage. They've got it out to the 41 with a first down. Well, no surprise. I mean, with the way they're running the ball early in this game, they're just going to keep doing it. And they're just not hammering out two, three, four-yard gains. They're gashing this defense. You saw it right there. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Goes to the option. At the 40, there he goes. And Chuck plays on the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. I'll tell you, the defense is going to have to do a much better job containing these outside run plays. They better be able to funnel the football back to the middle of the field because this guy with his speed can kill you like he did on that outside run play there to the left. Able to make the tackle, but not before he gets five yards down to the 21. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. A shot toward the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bulls. And it's not an accident. They're featuring this guy. His second receiving touchdown of the game. That's your job as a coach. Find my playmakers, get them the ball so they can do damage and have games like this right here. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great college football matchup. LSU has the lead right now, but it hasn't come easy. They're in a tight one. They're up by a field goal over the Pandas. We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day. Guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Here's the handoff. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Here on third down. We've come to the end of the quarter, and USF is on top. And they've built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we've gotten here. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. We've got this third down play to open the quarter. To throw, it's Bryson. 
He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And trying to put points on the board on third down, now they're staring at fourth down. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. you got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. you got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. Desperately wanted to convert on fourth down, but couldn't do it. First down for this offense. Leaves it with the running back. They get him down, but not before he picks up five down to the 17-yard line. This offense is in no hurry, right? Control the clock is priority number one. I'm going to run the football. I got the lead. I already got great field position, but I'm not interested in scoring right away. I got to make sure I watch that play clock tick down, maximize those seconds, and keep being physical with the run game. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. It's just so nice to have a QB under center nowadays in football. You can trust these guys. You put so much on their plate, and you tell them, go get positive yards when it's there. And a lot of these guys are such great athletes, they do it with ease. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. And the Bulls have it with a first and ten. To the ground. He's got it again. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. Man, that's the advantage of having a good coaching staff to teach these players in this type of situation with the lead late in the game. You want to stay in the field of play and keep the clock ticking. They do that after that nice run. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Give to the running back. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. And these RPOs always put the defense in a bind. But listen, you give up the run, they get a short little gain. No harm, no foul. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. They'll try to get it through the air. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range, they can take the three points on the field. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. From the left hash, this one shouldn't be too much trouble. The official says no good. For guys, a missed opportunity to expand the lead, still a 17-point cushion. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kicker. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. There have been a couple of missed opportunities for these offenses in the last couple of drives, Jesse. And I think for this offense here, it'd be nice to hit an explosive play, be aggressive, and really pay off your defense's effort that last drive. Man, instead of having to move the ball down the field consistently and then getting stopped on fourth downs, you're right. Create some of those explosives. Take those deep shots. Make those big plays. And they knock him down, but he got past the line of the game. And this setter down gets started from the 33, first and 10. Back to pass, it's Bryson. Got his man. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. They're running the curl route against zone coverage. The quarterback knows that's going to be a tight window. He's got to rifle that ball into his wide receiver. He does just that, and as a result, they pick up the first down. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up the first down. Kennesaw State right back to work. That was a nice pickup running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot, the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field. You saw that right there. QBs, when you see zone coverage, man, can you make play defense when you have a good pocket and you've got time to throw? You had a little bit of time to throw, you can move guys with your eyes, that drag comes wide open, good throw, good catch, first down. Can't hold on, he had him right down the middle and he flat dropped it. They keep attacking through the air. 
Got his man. Terrific job getting to him. There was nowhere to go. They've moved it to the 25, but now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires the pass, intercepted. He'll try to take it back. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. South Florida has it back, and the Bulls' offense will return to the field. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. Well, we saw the coaching staff on the sideline challenging this offensive line to end this game. They've got the lead late now, and they know they're going to continue trying to run the ball to ice it. He leaves it with the back. Tackle is made at the 44, but he picked up 10 yards and enough for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll try the run. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Running back searching for a hole. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. No mystery on that play. With the lead, we are going to run the ball. You know it's coming, and we are running right at you. Right into the teeth of the defense, and they're still able to get a nice game. They go to the ground. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. Winning can become a habit. Now they've won back-to-back -back games and probably building a little confidence from it. And you want it to be a habit. That's what you talk about as a coach week after week. Let's build. Let's create momentum and continue to build on it. Continue, And then you look up at the end of the season, you never know where you could be, what dreams you could bring to reality. At the end of the day, I think good teams find ways to win games. And over these last two games, it hasn't always been easy. They've had to overcome some adversity. But at the end of the day, they were able to step up, make the plays necessary, and do that. Very, very impressive. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.